What's going on, everybody? It's me, Greg Grovey, here at the Nice Kicks shop to bring you out this week's edition of What's New at Nice Kicks. This week, we got in a few anticipated releases. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Starting off this week, we got some new arrivals from New Balance. The first shoe we have is the 998. It's part of the New Balance National Park Pack. This colorway uses a light bluish gray suede for the entire upper with a white and gray midsole and a 3M in New Balance logo for the midfoot. You can grab these for 160 bucks. The second shoe from the National Park Pack is the 1300. This shoe uses a light gray, steel, and charcoal colors for the upper and a white New Balance logo outlined in blue. You can grab these for 160 bucks as well. The final shoe from the New Balance National Park Pack is the 996. This shoe also uses light gray suede for the majority of the upper, but uses a brick suede for the heel panel. Finish that off with a 3M New Balance N, as well as multi-color laces, and you can grab these for 150 bucks. Also in this week, we got the New Balance Barbershop Pack. The first shoe from this pack is the New Balance 580. Here we have it in red suede with hits of gray mesh for the toe cap as well as the collar and a royal blue New Balance logo for the midfoot. Finish it off with a red roll bar and a gray midsole and you have the Barbershop M580. You can grab this for 120 bucks. The second shoe from the pack is the New Balance 999. This shoe uses different shades of gray suede for the upper with hits of royal blue to set it off. You can grab this for 120 bucks. Also part of the Barbershop Pack is the New Balance 1600 Elite Extended Edition. This shoe uses a brick suede for the entire upper with hits of dark burgundy leather and black leather for the heel tab. Finished off with the white midsole and a gum outsole. You can grab these for 175 bucks. To finish things off with New Balance, we have two colorways of the 574. The first one uses a royal blue suede with royal blue mesh, a red in New Balance logo, and outlines of white. The second colorway uses navy blue suede, navy mesh, a yellow New Balance in, and a white and gray midsole. You can have your choice of the navy or royal blue color for 75 bucks. Making a quick stop at Reebok, this week we received the Reebok Shack Attack Pump in the LSU colorway. As you all know, Shaq attended LSU for a few seasons of basketball before entering the NBA. This shoe pays homage to his alma mater by having different shades of purple on the upper, as well as gold and purple tiger stripes for the heel tab and the inner lining. You can grab these for 160 bucks. Jumping from one Laker grade to the next, we have the Adidas Blueprint, which is Kareem Abdul's Jabbar signature shoe. It uses lush blue suede, as well as a pretty good quality blue leather for the majority of the upper, and a vulcanized white midsole. You can grab these for 100 bucks. Also in the classic Adidas line, we have the OG Adidas Original Top 10. Here you see it in white leather, with hits of navy leather, as well as red leather detailing around the collar of the shoe. You can grab these for 90 bucks. Sticking with classic shoes from Adidas, this week we got in the Adidas EQT Cushion. As you see it here in the emerald green, white, black, and gray colorway with the white and black midsole. You can grab these for 140 bucks. To finish off Adidas, we have another model from the EQT line. Here we have the EQT Support. This uses gray, varsity red, and a black colorway with a gray, white, and three red Adidas stripes for the midsole. You can also grab these for 140 bucks. As many of you may know, All-Star Weekend is officially here, and with that comes the release of Nike's annual All-Star basketball shoe. The first shoe we have from the collection is the Nike KD6 Illusion Edition. This shoe uses a multi-colored upper with a glow-in-the-dark outsole, as well as glow-in-the-dark flywire. You can grab these in very limited numbers for 150 bucks. The second shoe we have from that pack is the LeBron 11 Gator King Edition. This shoe uses an iridescent purple for the majority of the upper, 
as well as a glow-in-the-dark foam-like material, also finishing off the upper. This shoe has a multi-color outsole, as well as a glow-in-the-dark line logo. You can grab these for 250 bucks. To finish this episode off, we have in the Air Jordan 6 Retro White and Infrared colorway. As some of you may have seen from previous pictures on the site, this color infrared is a tad bit lighter from what we've seen in the previous release. But nonetheless, still a fresh looking shoe. It uses an all smooth white leather for the upper with hits of infrared on the tongue, as well as the lace lock, the back heel tab, and on the midsole. Finish it off with a clear, transparent outsole. We have the white infrared Jordan 6. You can grab these also in very limited numbers for 170 bucks. As you can see in this week's episode, it was short and simple, but with a lot of heat involved in it. As always, guys, feel free to follow us to stay up to date with the latest and greatest from Nice Kick on Instagram, Facebook, as well as Twitter by following at Nice Kick and at Shop Nice Kick. Until next time, I'm your host, Greg Grovey. See you guys next week.